do want to be, of course, extra careful still going in tonight, tonight and tomorrow. Things like slick roads, ponding and flooded streets will still be issues in lots of places. Joel Jones joins us live now with what's being done, though, to help commuters stay safe when you're out and about. Joel. Yes, Elizabeth, downed trees, fallen rocks and ponding all hazards we saw on the roads in Clackamas today. And as bad as these conditions are, transportation experts tell us their crews have been working around the clock to make sure the roads are safe. From Damascus to West Lynn, Oregon City and beyond, dangerous road conditions were seen throughout Clackamas County today. With high winds and high waters expected to continue throughout the weekend, state transportation experts say the ongoing inclement weather is something we should all be wary of. Conditions are going to be treacherous. The high wind may mean uh, some trees are going to be coming down. The, the, a lot of rain is going to mean there's going to be a lot of high water on the roads out there. There's a lot of different things that can trip us up on the roads out here. We all need to be really careful. As drivers braved commutes through ponding, fallen rocks, fast winds and down trees. Don Hamilton with the Oregon Department of Transportation says ODOT crews are working around the clock to keep roads clear. Any trees, any debris that comes down on the road, we're going to get out there as quickly as we can to make sure the roads are clear. We want to make sure the roads are as safe as we possibly can make them. We saw that fast working response in action as we headed to Happy Valley, where reports of a downed tree had caused road closures and gridlock traffic. But as we arrived, we found crews had already cleared the hazard. Reports of a downed tree here in Happy Valley near the intersection of Oregon 212 and Oregon 224 began pouring in right around 530 rush hour. And as you can see, the crews have successfully removed the tree, but just look at the size of this blocking the road for nearly an hour here with traffic still very much backed up. With an increased risk of hydroplaning and crashes, we asked ODOT what residents can do to help keep themselves and others safe on the roads this weekend. We can all help by clearing our own neighborhood a storm drain, get the leaves out of there too, so the water can drain out. The most important thing we can do is just be really careful out there. Slow down, be careful, look out for the other guys on the road. Now, with all the flooding we've seen today, Clackamas firefighters put out a message this afternoon urging residents at high risk areas to visit one of the county's many sandbag locations. We're told they're self serve and all residents have to do is bring their own shovel. We have the locations listed for you at coin.com. Reporting live from Milwaukee, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News. Yeah, and you've covered so much uh, heading all around our area tonight, thanks to you and all our crews.